Lucas bringing a load of manure with the 1025 R John Deere. Which I was doing it earlier and then he kicked me off my tractor. Drives the tractor and dumps it like he's been doing it for years. So Lucas is taking the compost to the pile. We're cleaning out the barn where we can bring the sheep back in here and shear them. Hey everybody, today we're moving our sheep from the front pasture back to the barn to get them sheared. And then we're gonna be moving them back to the pasture that we had them on originally before they moved over here because the grass is growing high over there. So hopefully I can get some footage, but we'll see how it goes. Well, we had everybody follow the pail except for these four stragglers. And now they're headed back the way they came and they're eating all the grass along the way. So Russell was one of the instructors that taught Blaine's shearing course this spring. And when we booked him, we asked him to take a look at our shears. So here he is shearing our first sheep using our shears and you can see that they are kind of dull and he did have to adjust them quite a bit. The tension wasn't quite right on them, so we have learned some things to improve the use of our shears. It was an excellent learning opportunity for the kids today to pick someone's brain who's sheared upwards of 170,000 sheep. We asked questions like body condition on our sheep, how to measure body condition when you're looking at different sheep, um, wool quality and differences, We've talked about lanolin, all kinds of interesting things. We also got to ask some really cool questions about breeds, like what is the difference between a Rambouillet and an Ile de France, and like what is their history, and what type of sheep in his experience does he think would be a good breed to forward the goals of our flock? Like, are we wanting to improve our wool quality or are we wanting to improve our carcass quality? And some questions we asked about when to wean our lambs, like what's a good timeline for that and how old? And just learned a ton of stuff. It was awesome. All right, guys, it's me and my pail of feed. We're headed over to put this in the feeder. We're moving the sheep out of the pasture they were in and rotating them to another pasture to allow the grass in that pasture to grow back. So funny story. While we were taking the sheep out of the barn, I was going to try and get a video of it, but I just didn't have enough hands. I'm shaking the pail. They're all following us down the driveway towards um, we're going to take them down by the apple trees. They decide that they're going back to the pasture they came from and everyone goes on a full dead run as a pack all the way over there like crazy. And here's the thing, the difference between goats and sheep is you only need one sheep to follow you. If one sheep will listen to you and come to you, the rest of them will all follow. So I went down here by my apple trees down here to this other pasture, the shady pasture. I'll show you some footage of it. And shook the pail and called and called. And they all ran after the one sheep that listened to me. And so literally I had the whole group come right to me and right into the pasture I wanted them to because one sheep was like, oh, she has a pail. So way better than goats. Goats would have been gone down the road. Somebody would have had their head stuck in a fence. 
my trees would have been completely eaten off. So yeah, still thinking sheep was the best option for our farm and I'm very, very happy that we got rid of our goats and got sheep instead. There, everybody's bald and happy. All back in their, their old pasture with lots of shade. Look at these trees, beautiful. They got a big field over there to eat and a big shady laneway with really tall grass to eat. Look how happy everybody is. Stitch, why are you in the feeder? Calvin, Alvin, hey, and the ladies with your nice new haircuts. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> And there they all go, happy as a clam to be mosquito food. Except Gilbert, he's gonna stand there and eat a tree.